On today's Shark Tank React, we are going to meet with one of my favorite companies, a company from Utah where I live called Cutbop. And I remember the first time I met them, it was freezing cold outside. They pulled up in this bright yellow food truck and were yelling out to all the customers. And it was so fun, just the whole interaction of like yelling out different orders and what was going on. And they gave everyone a free cup of hot tea to keep us all warm. And it was just such a fun experience. And then the food was different and unique. And so I'm excited to see them on Shark Tank and hear their pitch. Let's jump into it. Offers. Are there any other offers? The product is fantastic. I think the business is worth about 18 uh, million today. You're asking for 33. I want to own a bigger piece, but that's simply a function of money. You're asking for a million for 3%. I'll give you 5 million for 28%. Oh, wow. which is an 18 million valuation. Wow. I mean, that's what I think the business is worth today. Listen, I love your model, and I just want to take the journey with you. I would give you a million dollars as a loan, 8% interest, 5% equity. Hey guys, if it's just the cash you're looking for, I would give you a million dollar loan. Okay, so Lori is offering a million dollar loan at 8% interest for 5% stake. Okay, so here's the thing about that that's interesting. She is, she's double dipping, right? Because she's getting equity and then she's also getting her money back as a loan, which pushes the effective valuation. Here, like you could look at it and say, okay, well, she's putting in a million dollars and in exchange for that, she's getting 5%. So they're asking for 33%. You could make an argument that she's asking for a $20 million valuation, but she's gonna get paid 8% interest on her loan. I mean, ultimately she's kind of getting like 5% of the business almost for free. She's taking on a little bit of risk that she won't get paid back, but that risk is being compensated for by the 8%. 8% though is a super low interest rate relative to the amount of risk on this business. So that's probably how she's trying to justify it. But the implied valuation is not $20 million. The implied valuation given this is probably something like $5 million. And her downside is super protected because if the company goes belly up, she's gonna get paid back first because she loaned the money. And they probably have at least a million dollars worth of assets between like their different vehicles and stores and equipment and all of that stuff. So she could probably mostly be made whole. This is a super aggressive offer. For five percent, no problem. I'll do it for three percent, and I'll work I would on do the it for finance. 5%. And you know what? I'd do it with Barbara if Barbara wants to do it with me. I would love to do it. I haven't done a deal with you in a dog's That's age. That's right. We haven't. So Lori and I will give you five percent for a million dollar loan. We'll go in together. Yeah, of course she wants to do that deal because, like I just said, it's an insanely good deal for them. Mark, what are you doing? First, I love the business. I love the product. I love the fact that you can make it a healthy alternative. But what I'm hearing, and tell me if I'm wrong, you've got the operations down, right? but you need someone to propel you in terms of That's marketing exactly and right. PR and just to be able to have a national presence. So when people talk about cup up, then people say, yeah, I know it. And I think I can provide that better than anybody because I do have that national platform and, and I can get word out there better. We but at the same time, that national the platform. no, no, it's not quite the same. <laughs> Wow, that's pretty brutal. But I actually have to agree with Mark Cuban here. I think that he definitely has a bigger brand than all the other sharks from a nationwide perspective. Like, you know, he's in the news as a sports teams owner, like a bunch of stuff. So it is interesting because he kind of nails it. He's like, look, these guys don't need a million dollar loan. They're not here raising money for the business. What they're doing is they're looking for a strategic partner that can really help them take the business to the next level, right? And that's what he's ultimately pitching. And the right, basically the ability to partner with them comes with a, a cost of entry, which is an investment in the company. Oh, yeah, as well. So it's not uh, quite the same, but you it know, is quite I, the same. What I would do is a million dollars to straight equity. I'd like 7%. And my commitment is though, I can help you just scale this thing in terms of visibility and PR. My portfolio is full of all kinds of healthy alternatives. So that's my offer. So he wants to put in a million for 7% of the business, which values them at a $14 million valuation. So that's my offer. $1 million for 7%. Well, let me tell you no. what's wrong with Mark's plan. <laughs> his, his appreciation of your business is lovely, but it's wrong. 
This is not a healthy alternative. This is a delicious alternative. Yeah. This is not a healthy brand. This is a fun brand. No, and I'm not saying you turn it into a health yeah. store at all. And right? What last, I'm saying is you can extend no, but your Barbara's customer base. Right. And he said he could create the publicity. We all can create the publicity. Not That's the right. He could throw yeah. in a basketball yes, too. What are you going to do? All right, so this is interesting. Like, they are arguing for their, their deal, but honestly, like, their deal is terrible. Like, I would never do their deal. As an entrepreneur, you should be really careful when you're raising angel money from, you know, individuals because sometimes they'll do this. They'll be like, hey, I will loan, I will invest in your company and I want X percent ownership in the company and then I also want a loan, or I also want it to be a loan and you're going to pay me back with interest. And like... To me, that is like so aggressive because it's really driving down your valuations super low, right? You are on the hook to pay back that loan. And it's like they're double dipping. They're getting their equity and they're getting their interest, right? I mean, think about it, right? They're going to pay her back that million dollars plus interest. And then they're going to give her an additional 5% of the company. Okay, this is how you run the math. You'd say the company is worth... In their case, let's say they're right and it's worth $33 million, right? And you just gave up 5% of the company. Well, 5% on $33 million is going to be $1.65 million. What's the terms of the loan, right? Well, you are effectively paying $1.65 million as additional interest on that million-dollar loan. That is why it is so egregious. They're get lending them a million dollars and they expect to be paid back $6.5 million plus the original million dollars plus another 8% interest on top of that. You contrast that with Mark Cuban's deal, which is $14 million valuation. It's definitely lower than the $33 million valuation. But in his case, like it's straight. You don't owe him any more money. The company goes belly up. You don't owe him anything. And he can't come after you and squeeze your profits, right? Like they can from a loan perspective. All in all, like I think Mark Cuban's deal is a better one. And then honestly, I think he can also open up a ton of doors. Like he could bring Cutbop into the stadiums where his teams are playing. He's got a lot of connections in sports. And frankly, I disagree with the other Sharks. I think he has a much stronger nation nationwide brand than they do and can be a lot more helpful if what they really want to do is get on the national stage. For all of those reasons, I think Mark Cuban's deal is by far and away the best one. Now, the flip side is $14 million valuation on this business is pretty low. Like they're probably generating quite a bit more or revenue than that. And so they're gonna take a hit, but what they're essentially getting is not a million dollars. They're getting the help of Mark Cuban to come in and help them really blow up and expand their business. Mark, would you be able to do 1 million straight equity for 4.5%? Okay, so they're asking, can you do $22 million valuation? I'd go 5.5% is my lowest. I'm not cheap. And he's now saying, you know, 5.5 is my lowest, which comes out to roughly an $18 million valuation, which is the same valuation that they had an offer for earlier. The difference, though, is he's only investing a million dollars instead of five. And the other offer at $5 million were, would have been a lot of dilution uh, for the company, right? They would have given up 18%, whereas here they're only giving up 5.5%, which kind of matters at the end of the day, right? It leaves them with a lot more control. And he's making a good point. Like, look, his money's not cheap, right? They're paying for a lot more than just the million dollars they're getting. I'm worth it, guys. Both my kids, five minutes. 5%. 1 million equity for 5%. So $20 million valuation. Does he go for it? With the other partners, we kind of set the parameters. I just don't know what's going to happen if we... That's honestly... All right, I'll do 5%. Yes! All right, $20 million valuation. Yes! Only because of those other partners. Oh. Ah! <laughs> and he gets it. He's an investor, right? He's got to play nice with Thank the other Thank you guys investors so much. Deal. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Do the dance again. Do the dance. <laughs> awesome. Well, if you haven't tried Cut Bop, I hope you get the chance to try it. Super good. The guys that started this are super fun. It was fun meeting them way back in the day when they just had their little yellow uh, food truck. And it's exciting to see what they've become today. They've got retail locations all over the country. And I, I think they're expanding across uh, new geographies internationally. 
Um, and yeah, it's a cool company. So thanks for joining me. Check out my other Shark Tank React where an entrepreneur pitches the sharks on an app that helps people cheat on their spouse. <laughs>